of course, we were hoping to have five Super 750 events. We were scheduled to have five Super 750 events, but the Fuzhou China Open has been cancelled along with the China Open. So that's desperately disappointing, isn't it? It's always sad to see an athlete having to retire from a contest. But next up is the last of the men's singles quarterfinals, and what match it is. It features uh, the reigning world champion against the former world champion, of course, Victor Axelsson, who was in the final of the French Open 10 years ago when he was just an 18-year-old. He's also the Olympic champion up against the 2021 world champion, Lo Ken Yu of Singapore. The men's singles ball is concerned. We know the lineup of three of the four semi finalists for tomorrow. Will it be two days or will it be four different flags next to the four different players? Well, we're about to find out. We did actually have seven different nationalities, the most internationally diverse of all the disciplines here at the French Open, but only three seats and all three seeds in the top half of the draw. That quarterfinal stage, we only started with two seeds, though, in the bottom half of the draw. Momota had to pull out, Antonsen pulled out. Then the three-time finalist and four champion, number four seed, Cho Tien Chen, got beaten in the first round by Lee Chek Yu, who you can see already in the semi-final stage. And Anthony Ginting lost in the first round to Samir Verma of India. So the umpire leads in the reigning world and Olympic champion, Victor Axelsson. A huge cheer from the fans here in Stade Pierre de Coubertin. Both former and for Axelsson a reigning world champion. He's been twice a world champion. Training partners, friends. And it's a repeat of the quarterfinal last week in Orlinsa at the Denmark Open when Loke New won in two straight games. 21-17, 21-10 in just 30 minutes. That's obviously the last time they played. But as you can see, this will be the Pick seventh up, meeting right. between the two players. Uh, and Axelsson right. has won right. four of the previous six. Right. Uh, okay. So Axelsson Sorry. wins the toss of the coin and chooses ends. Now that's different to last week in Denmark. Well, can you won the toss of the coin and chose the more difficult end from which to start the match? So already a difference, and already that might make a psychological difference to the players. They know their standard of play is very, very close. Well, it wasn't only the last time that they met that Loka knew one. He's won the last two occasions that they played each other the time previous to last week was at the World Championships last year in the very first round and then look at you went on to take the title. 28 years of age in his ninth French Open, reached the final in 2012, current world number one, in fact enjoying his 99th week in total as world number one. Now he beat the finalist, beat the finalist from five years ago, Nishimoto in the first round, had to save a game point in the second game there, and uh, then beat Tamasin of Thailand, who in the first round had beaten the winner from last week, Shi and Chi. And also two straight games. Lo Ken Yu is 25 years of age, born in Penang in Malaysia, and now represents Singapore. Playing off his career high of number five, fourth week in total at number five in the world. 
He's playing his second French Open. He lost in the second round last year. This year, he beat Mark Calvo of the Netherlands in the first round. And the defending champion, last year's winner, Kanta Suniyama of Japan in the second round. So both of these players have won both of their matches in two straight games. Marcel Schmidt of Switzerland is our umpire for this one and our previous umpire from the last match. Daniel Wolf of Austria has now taken his place in the service judge's chair. Well, Axelson was very concerned about the speed of the shuttles last week when they played in all these up. <laughs> Felt the shuttles were too fast. Ready to play. It's been in two finals this year, has Lo Kenyu in India Super 500 events and also the Southeast Asian Games. In fact, that was his second consecutive silver medal at the Southeast Asian Games, lost out to Widersan in Hanoi in Vietnam earlier this year. Axelsen, well, he's had a terrific year. Six titles from 10 tournaments played, but he withdrew partway through two tournaments before stepping on to court, having won his opening round matches. So until his defeat to his opponent of today, last week, he had been on a 39-match winning streak. He's now, for the year, 44-2. and two. His win-loss record, Axelsen. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Victor Axelsen, Denmark. And on my left, Lo Ken Yu, Singapore. Lo Ken Yu to serve, Lovo, play. So the last of the men's singles quarterfinals gets underway. These two world champions. Some, somebody's got a flash camera on right behind the court. That is just ridiculous. Time is over. Victor. Yeah, can you believe it in the first rally? Stadium really well lit. I'm quite certain you don't need one flash love. camera on. But very distracting and annoying for the players. Oh. Serve is over. One oh. Well, when Victor Axelsen reached the final of the French Open back in 2012, he became the youngest ever in singles finalist in a. Super Series and now World Tour event. He was 18 years, nine months and 24 days. And Two, straight after one. the final, he jumped on a plane to go to the World Championships in Chiba. World Junior Championships, that was. Now we knew then the man had talent. Oh, my goodness. What sort of shot is that from Lo Ken Yu? It's actually jolly effective because... Time is over. Two, Victor Axelsen oh. was preparing to play the overhead shot, but it came at about chest height. Service over. 
in that rally. And Three, that's something he two. wasn't able to do last week in Denmark because of the passer shuttles. Look in you and his attacking play was beating the tall Dane. angle again that's his favorite shot from the deep forehand corner acute angle Four, across court two. second one he played in the rally look at that look at that angle and i reckon loca knew probably at the moment is the fastest badminton player yep. well, i'm in singles court i think he's even faster than anthony sinisuka ginting Left. Five, two. a different sort of game to the quarter-final last week. Six, two. Well, I mean, it's Loke New who's doing the majority of the physical work at the moment. Axelson's really moving his opponent while he's missed with that one. He's pushing him to the back, then making him move the full diagonal. Service over. Three, six. Service over. Oh, that's extraordinary. What was Lone Ken you expecting as a return Seven, of save? Bad. Three. Play an outright winner with the net shot. It wasn't really disguised. Landed in. That's a misjudgment from Loka New. Nine, three. Well, last week they might be friends off court and they may be training partners in Dubai. But I thought there was a bit of intensity between these two players about when to change a shuttle.
Oh, that's beautiful. Just clipped over in the top of the shuttle into all. to create the acute angle. And it's a very, very handsome eight-point advantage in this opening game to the current world champion, this man, Victor Axelsson. Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. Eleven three. Play. So 11-3, the advantage to Axelsson. Yes, he's just not getting any advantage, really, with his attacking play, low can you? There's his opponent, well, just soaking up three. the attacking play. Patiently waiting for his opportunity. Oh, look at that follow up. Gorgeous. Victor. 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 Yeah. Well, three. Got to wait for the court attendant to get back to his unjudging chair. Is faultless at the moment, Axelson. 33. Yeah, got to hit it higher, got to get it over his head. Easier said than done. He's six foot four, after all. Service over. Four thirteen. Well, that have been seven straight points to Axelson. Defense. Five. Uh, normally leaps up in the air in that deep forehand corner. That time didn't. And the whole trajectory of his Thank you. shot was all off. Look, no jump at all. Anticipated that. Challenge here from Axelson. Victor Axelson challenges Paul out. Oh, 
poor guy had taken their time. But it was a great challenge. Fought the line. Paul Rackson in. Service over. 14 5. Play. defence from Axelson. Off his right hip. 15, he five. had to sway his body out of the way to give himself the freedom to play the defensive shot. Here it comes. Look at that. And for such a tall athlete, that's wonderful agility. All good, so it Lord is in fact looking you who's challenging. Paul in. Challenges out. today, haven't we? Service over. Three in the previous match. Players were right Play. every time. Yeah. The quick serve. Four. Seven fifteen. Wow, that is over. An angle on that smash from Axelson. Sixteen seven. Look at that. Block. Uh, but the Olympic seven. champion is in absolute total control, really, of this opening game. Look, and you doesn't know how to win the rallies here with slower shuttles than a week ago. the rare attacking shots where he's found Service over. his mark and won the point, low can you? A, 17. Let. A, 17. Wide. 
Yes, clearly so from Hatchison. 9, 17, quick. In the air, so it's a huge angle. 18, 10. And that was from pretty much the centre of the court. Victor. Can't describe that as deep forehand corner. Well, how did he produce that angle? Doubles has just finished on the adjoining court, but what's holding us up is that somebody using a flashlight on the camera again. That's a good lift. Second time, I think it's happened at the end of a long, long rally. The backhand. Beautiful. Yeah. The forehand block, cross court from Axelson. Game point. And with that Ten. wonderful shot, here it comes. He now has 10 game point opportunities. Just wide. Service over, 11, 20. Very, very different to last week's encounter between these two. 
Jeg kunne godt tænke mig, at når han ligger og drejer, når han, når han slår kotteren ned på round the head, i stedet for at stoppe den af som en langsom bald, som man kan gå op til, så går lige ind og vinkle den ind mod midt igen til ham. Ja, far, det ja, så han kommer løbende ind i den og skal finde på et eller andet derinde, i stedet for, at du spiller med en blød en, han bare kan time og, og flytte dig igen. Ikke? Okay. Og det allerbedste måske, hvis du kunne dreje den helt over, så han skal modsat. Okay? Og ellers så bare ro på der. Stadigvæk ro på, også når du har de store... Så tag lige en enkelt mere, tag lige en enkelt mere. Bare stik op, ja. vis den ene, og så hurtigt afvikle med frem. Ja, og det er meget vigtigt, at du kommer med frem. Meget vigtigt, at du kommer med frem. For ja, og hvis den ikke går ned, så spiller vi igen. For han dumper den så meget til dig, ikke? Så spiller vi igen. Ja. Flytter ham. Klar i dæft. Husk at fart på ind i en selv. Port one, twenty seconds. Port one, twenty seconds. Well, Victor Axelson, I think now has the better end from which to play. He's hitting against the drift, which means that he should be able to punch through with his clear Second game. Love all. Back on the lifts, whereas Loka knew might have a problem play. controlling the shuttle. Yeah, threaded it down the line, that's a beauty. One love. Yeah, and this is what makes his cross-court angled shot from that position so lethal, because he does occasionally play it straight down the line, and therefore opponents can't really tell which way it's going to come. Yeah. One love. Well, that one goes long. Service over. One. Oh, oh. the drift hasn't changed, has it? Time is over. Two, one. Another one pushed long. I said he was going to have trouble controlling the pushes. Three, Look, can you one. This near side of the court. <laughs> Service over. Two, three. Super shot from Loken Yu. Three, oh. Time is over. Four, three. That little push back from the net area, but it was still very flat over the net. So, very, very difficult then from Oh, can you to play 
accurately back to the net. Oh, that's a super shot. Service over, four, all. Five, four. Oh. Another one push long. Service over. I think that's Five, three already. Four. In this second game from Loken Yu. Smooth, so bouncy in a way. Smooth and then just leaps in the air as if there's no Six, effort at all. Five. Smile from Luca New to his coach. Seven, five. Service over. Six, seven. Play. Well, here we are again, the same up. as we were last week with Victor Axelson asking Lowe to That's change the point. shuffle and Lowe saying no. Play and good pressure from the front of the court from Lokan. Oh. Time is over. Eight, seven. That's going wide. Yeah, can control the spin and the tumble on Ten, the next shot. Seven. That's a fourth error pushed out the seven, back of the call from Loka New from this near side in the second game. And it's a four-point advantage for the Olympic champion at the mid-game interval. 11-7, we've already won the 
opening game. Du skal love mig, at når du slår nedad, så kommer du fremad. Ja, han ligger og laver de der hejser der. Han vinker dig i din forhånd. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Kort 1, 20 seconds. Op med den. Ja. Hvis jeg ikke er i position til at gøre noget andet, så ned i benen. Når han kommer op på den der, så trykker han ud i din forhånd. Eleven seven play. Oh, that's a beauty, lovely shot. Service over eight eleven. Oh, he needed to break that run of points. That'd have been four straight points for Axelson. Now it's over, 12, 8. Still the right wide, that's interesting. What was that again? And how can you? Oh, my goodness, mate! <laughs> <Lovely face. laughs> how can you? Has a smile about it. He was going to leave the shuttle, then had to play a behind-the-back shot. Look at that. <laughs> a very good lesson into why you should get yourself in position to play the okay. shot in case you change your mind and decide not to leave it. Eight. Six of the last seven points to Axelson. Seven of the last Four eight points. Eight. Seven all it was, and he's just pulled away, hasn't he? Stamping his authority on this match. Service oh over. The kiss of death for me. Nine. 14. Curse of the commentator. A service error yep. of the entire Play. match by either player. One deceptive net shot, then one deceptive push. Well, Wait. seemed to be cruising at 14-8, didn't he, Axelson? Then he served into the net. Well, his advantage 
11, 14. From six points to just three. There was the reverse slice, straight drop from Blake. Look at you. Look at this net shot from Axelson. That is brilliant. He's taking it late, and he still plays the net court. Amazing. Well, he's still in this, Lo Ken Yu. This is all becoming very, very interesting. Play on. Well, there's a challenge here Lord, for can you challenges fall out? Down as a service error. Challenge unsuccessful. Down as a One challenge push out remaining. The back of the court. Service over. 16 12. Play. Oh, no! 17 12. That I regard as a cheap point for Exorcism. Service over. Nice 13, from 17. Play. From Lo Ken Yu. Yeah, absolute precision. Wide. It was a nice idea. Service over. 18, 13. Three points away from a third semi final at the French Open for Axelson. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. 19-13. Off the body from Axelson and... Look, and you should have made more of that. Golden opportunity for the Singaporean. Service over. But 
Fourteen, nineteen. A very good lead for Victor Axelson, and assuming he was to go on and win this in two straight games, to me it really emphasises the effect of the speed of shuttles on the outcome of matches. Last week, fast Victor. shuttles, and it was a fairly straightforward two-game win for Lokenu. Slightly slower shuttles this week, and Victor Axelson. Assuming he does go on to win, well, slower shuttles suit his game more. Not sure if that's really true, but it suits his game more. I think that the fast shuttles very much suit Loken Yu. That's what I should have said. Big uh, big 19. And a smile from Axelson to acknowledge that. Good shot of his opponent. On that. Well, this is far from over. Only three points in it. Four. And it's match point opportunities now. Time is over. For 20, match point 16. Service over, 17-20. Jumping up and down on the spot, both players. That's a sign of trying to get rid of the nerves. Good return of serve. His quarter final defeat to work a week ago in his home city of Ordensa. Two game victory over Loka New this week here in Paris. 21 11, 21 17 match in a match five. lasting 45 Victor minutes. 21 11, 21 17. Fan has a very sweaty head and hand and a wristlet as a souvenir for Victor Axelson through to the semi final. And his reaction after winning tells me that he was very concerned about this match, desperately wanted to win. Of course, he always wants to win, uh, but I think his defeats at this stage of the tournament a week ago really hurt. He had been the defending champion of the Denmark Open, losing to his friend and training partner in front of his home fans in the manner of which he lost a week ago. And this is why this reaction after winning here in Paris carefully just plays the shuttle into the open space and look at that slams his racket down arms aloft and this was only a quarter-final match celebrating as if he's won the tournament that meant a lot to Victor Axelsen well he will meet Kodai Naro Oka in the semi-final tomorrow but this is how he got through the quarter-final match avenging his defeat from a week ago beating Lo Ken Yu of Singapore 21-11 21-17 in 45 minutes
So welcome back to Stade Pierre de Coubertin. Quarterfinals day at the Yonex French Open. What a day it has been. We've had some tremendous matches and we've still got another match to come. And uh, this is a match between two former world number